First on our newscast today, Birmingham Mayor Larry Langford is out on bond this afternoon after the FBI arrested him this morning on a 101 count federal indictment. Now, if convicted, Mayor Langford could go to prison and be forced to pay back millions of dollars. The important facts in this story during a news conference this morning, U.S. Attorney Alice Martin detailed some of the charges, including bribery, fraud, money laundering, and filing false tax returns. The indictment stems from a multi million dollar sewer bond deal when Langford was the president of the Jefferson County Commission. We have team coverage of Mayor Langford's indictment tonight. Scott Malden was in the court during the reading of the indictment this morning. Morning. But we begin with Bettina Bowden with the very latest on the case. Bettina. Well, Mike, in addition to facing possible prison time, the U.S. Attorney's Office is also seeking $7.6 million in forfeiture for each defendant named in this case. Officials are calling it a pay it to play scheme, and here's the breakdown according to U.S. Attorney Alice Martin. Today we announced the indictment of Larry P. Langford, 62, Mayor Birmingham, and the former president of the Jefferson County Commission. Flanked by IRS and FBI representatives, U.S. Attorney Alice Martin laid out a 101 count indictment against Mayor Larry Langford, friend and lobbyist Al LaPierre, and Montgomery investment banker William Blunt, all alleged to be connected to fraud and bribery. Our investigation is revealed, and the indictment alleges that Langford sold his public office to his friends and political supporters. Langford steered lucrative business to William Blunt and his company, and he in turn earned in excess of $7.1 million. And with the help of lobbyist Albert Lapeer, the charges outlined in this 62 page indictment include conspiracy, bribery, fraud, money laundering, to name a few, and allegations of a long running bribery scheme that ran from 2003 to 2007 involving alleged financial and bond transactions when Larry Langford was president of the Jefferson County Commission. As alleged in the indictment, Langford conspired with Blunt and LaPierre to solicit and to accept bribes, to use his influence and his position to ensure that Blunt and his company, Blunt Parish uh, Incorporated, uh, was involved in Jefferson County's bond and swap transactions related to the multi-billion dollar county sewer debt. Though the indictment names all three men, there are a number of allegations of financial dealings that personally benefited Mayor Larry Langford. Where Blunt, through LaPierre, paid Larry Langford $69,000. Uh, Langford then deposited that money into his bank account and is charged with committing the offense of money laundering. The U.S. Attorney's Office also alleges that Mayor Langford received thousands of dollars in bribes from Blunt. Here are the bribe allegations. In 2003, $123,356. In 2004, more than $81,000. And in 2005, $22,186,000. These patterns of bribes continued throughout 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, and 2007, with big ticket items like Blunt paying $11,750 for a Rolex watch for Langford and other jewelry in December of 2004. Officials pressing charges call it a pay to play scheme, with Mayor Langford working with a personal friend and a businessman allegedly taking bribes clothing and even a $50,000 personal loan all over time. So, in summary, Langford borrows money, he defaults. LaPierre pays off Langford's defaulted loan by taking out a loan himself, which then Blunt pays off for LaPierre. This occurred over an 11-month period of time. And now the court will decide the next step in this case. Now, breaking down the counts, Mayor Langford is named in 60 counts, while Blunt is named in 43 counts. LaPierre is named in 22 counts. Keep in mind the max prison term for each count varies. We did some checking and found out that they range from 3 to 20 years, depending the charge. That's Story Live from downtown Birmingham. Bettina Bowden, NBC 13 HD News. Bettina, thank you. Now, moments after the government laid out details of their case, Mayor Langford appeared in front of a federal judge downtown. NBC 13 HD Scott Malden continues for our live, live team coverage with details of the mayor's court appearance this morning. Scott, tell us what you saw. Well, Mike, when Mayor Larry Langford went into a federal courtroom, he was wearing ankle chains when federal authorities walked him into that federal courtroom here. Birmingham Mayor Larry Langford walked out of federal court with his lawyers after entering a not guilty plea. 
His public reaction to the government allegations came through his lawyer. Someone innocent today has been charged. Uh, I'm surprised and disappointed. First off, Mayor Langford took a polygraph test some time ago, and he passed that with flying colors, and we advised the U.S. Attorney's Office of that. The last we left it was that we submitted in writing Mayor Langford's desire and ability to take a second polygraph test. Inside a courtroom, Mayor Langford was handed this 101 count federal indictment. It lays out a pay for play scheme involving Mayor Langford, investment banker William Blunt, and lobbyist Al LaPierre. Blunt, in the tan jacket, headed into federal court with his lawyer. LaPierre, wearing a blue sweater, left court with no comments. All three men, including Mayor Langford, were released on $50,000 bond. The mayor was the only one publicly arrested. Unfortunately, other people have been allowed to surrender, uh, take their time. Mayor Langford was arrested. He was put in shackles. And here we stand today. I think it's a, a terrible thing. Mayor Langford did not make a formal statement today, but told reporters in a crowd that he was expecting the charges and called them a disappointment. I've been expecting this forever. Um, they knew it was wrong what they're doing. Mayor Langford returned to City Hall where staff members rallied behind him. You know, obviously, you know, we're all uh, sad to hear the news today. Uh, but as far as the operations of the city, it's business as usual here. Regardless of what's going on, uh, we are going to continue to serve the citizens of Birmingham and continue to do the best job we can for them. I think that's the best thing we can do for the mayor right now is to continue the good work we've been doing here at City Hall. The mayor will be able to carry out his duties while the case moves forward. But as the mayor carries out those duties, he does have some new obligations to meet. First, he must periodically check in with a probation officer, and he must ask permission of a federal agent before traveling anywhere outside North Alabama. Reporting live with team coverage, Scott Malden, NBC 13 HD News. Yes. Thanks very much, uh, Scott Malden, downtown. I moved to the other side of the room to uh, be joined by Doug Jones, former U.S. attorney, a prosecutor of many high-profile cases, to get his take on uh, this indictment today. The indictment itself of Mayor Larry Langford, not a surprise to anyone. Was what has transpired today surprise you in any way? No, not really. I think that, uh, you know, the, the, the pattern of the office at this point is to try to arrest high-profile folks. They go before a judge. After the arrest, it's a matter of routine. You go before a judge, you get a bond set, you get an arraignment, and then starts the process of getting ready for trial. It'd be nice to say in a perfect world, politics has nothing to do with any of this. We're going to ask a web poll question of our viewers tonight. Uh, Mayor Langford's attorney says uh, politics has a great deal to do with this. You've been a, a U.S. attorney. You've been around this kind of thing. Is it possible to put politics aside or is it part of the process? I no, know that's I, tough. I, I, it's no, speculative. I, it, it is possible to put politics aside, whether it was or in this this case, and nobody knows. I mean, uh, in the Siegelman case, uh, uh, you know, he screamed politics from the, from day one, and nobody right, believed right. him, including me. I was his uh, his lawyer, but as it turns out, you know, there's there's at least a little smoke there. Mm -hmm. So I, I think as part of the discovery process, you'll see this. But the fact of it is, in this case, you know, the politics would have to go to the SEC. A lot of the charges started going with the SEC, uh, not the U.S. Attorney's Office, and they kind of evolved into now this grand jury investigation resulting in this indictment. And at the end of the day, the facts are going to be what speaks for themselves. These are not minor charges. We're talking about no. many decades of prison time if convicted, and ultimately it's going to be up to jurors, as that, it is in every case. That, that's right. I'm sure there are going to be a series of motions that will be filed, motions to dismiss. Uh, those are all uphill battles. I mean, ultimately this case looks like it's headed for a jury trial. Uh, it appears that all three of the defendants are, are basically, you know, battening down the hatches, getting ready for a war. And uh, the case will ultimately be decided by a jury on the facts that the judge lets in at the time. Much of the testimony, I'm sure, from the prosecution side will come from other county commissioners who have plea bargain deals or have been found guilty, that will be a strong part of their case, you I, would assume. I, I think that that will be a strong part of the case. I think factually you're going to look at a chronology as well. If you just look at the indictment, you, you, you see certain financial transactions that are going on mm -hmm. at the same time that some of the bond swaps. Uh, some of those things, uh, you, you know, are, are, are you know, pretty good circumstantial evidence as they are. There'll be some testimony. I think the documents are going to uh, speak 
uh, volumes. And then it's just a question of, of spin. There's a lot of these facts that are going to be undisputed, Mike. It's just a question of the intent. Doug Jones is going to give us time in our newscast at 5 and at 6 o'clock. We appreciate that. I want to talk to you about jury selection, which will get a lot of attention in, in this case, I'm sure. Doug Jones, you thank you. I mentioned to Doug and to you, we want to hear your opinion. Do you think Mayor Langford's indictment today was politically motivated? To let us know what you think and to view the results, go to NBC13.com. And to see a complete copy of Mayor Langford's indictment and a recap of Langford's arrest and court appearance today, just go to NBC13.com.